Hey, kitty. Say, come on in, Fred. All right, so we just got King Fred pulled in because tomorrow we have a recovery to go on. And you're not gonna believe what it is. It may or may not be a blue telehandler that you guys have seen before. And I'm super excited because this time it's not in snow, it's in mud. And it is stuck, stuck, stuck. So we're gonna be taking King Fred, we're gonna be taking the skid steer, we're gonna be taking the winch, and we're gonna be taking the crew. So we got a lot of stuff to get ready. First of all, we're gonna use the scotch blocks. We got this side, we got a hook on it. So we're gonna make sure that this stuff all works. We're gonna back up on them. We're gonna make sure it pulls tight. We're gonna do all the things you gotta do. I've got another scotch block we gotta make works. We're gonna be putting a chain on it, a hook on it, making it work and hooking it up to see if it works. We're probably not gonna use King Fred for much other than maybe a snatch block anchor, but we wanna use the scotch block so that it holds still and doesn't pull it all the way around. Or if we need to pull the skid steer with it, you know, we're gonna have it there as the support vehicle. So we're gonna be loading up the skid steer on the freight liner. We're gonna be loading up King Fred on the trailer. I'm trying to think of how we're gonna do all this. There's a lot of stuff we gotta do. Then we gotta haul it to wherever the recovery is. All right, so originally this had a hook of some sorts that held the chain in place here. It's been cut off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it to where this hook will go through there. We're gonna weld it to this plate. We're gonna have this portion stick out. So that's what the chain's gonna hook to. It's gonna come out, hook the back of the truck. This is all gonna get welded and it's gonna work out great. So I've got to plasma this out and then we'll be able to grind it all up, weld that chain hooked up. And the nice thing about that is if we ever have a chain break, we can unpin it, put a new chain on it and away we go. All right, I got it all welded. Now we'll get our chain length, cut it and see if these work. So right now we're just sizing this out, seeing how long a chain we need. All right, I'll get that cut off and we'll put a hook on it. All right, we've got it hooked. Let's check these out and see if they work. We don't want to try to dig them because they could hurt the concrete, but we'll just slide them under. There you go. All right, we're gonna back up. Let's we'll see if it does what it's supposed to. I think we need to make it a little bit looser so I can come back a little more, but I think that's gonna work. All right, so we're gonna go and get this on the trailer, get the trailer hooked up to the tow truck so in the morning we can roll out. This is what dedication does. It don't matter what time it is, where we're at, but we love doing it for you guys. We're here we are loading up so we can go first thing in the morning. All right, it's getting real, real late. We were all loaded up. So we'll be back in the morning and we're gonna head on this recovery. So it is tomorrow. We're here at Adventure's first stop. Maverick is getting fuel, because no truck needs fuel, Skidster needs fuel, King Fred needs gas. It's gonna be a very expensive day just starting out. Almost $200. Who's gonna pay for that? It's not charity. <laughs> 175 bucks later, but you know what? That's the price we pay to go have fun in the mud. We're headed to Woodland Woodland Hills. That is above Elk Ridge and above Payson here in Utah. We are 11 miles away. So we're gonna get King Fred filled up, go inside, fill us up. We'll be on our way to go save the forklift that we've already saved. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got an idea. We're not gonna make it up this. We might have to unload the truck. Say, why don't we unload King Fred? King Fred drive himself up or pull us. Well, now we got a mail truck behind us. We've got 0.8 of a mile left of doing this. Six and a half hours later. All right, so we just got here. We're gonna walk over and assess the situation. This is behind a brand new house that's being built and it's stuck in the mud. So we gotta figure out how to get back there, get it out, not get us stuck, but get that unstuck. This is gonna be fun. So Robbie just got in the truck and told me, this is gonna be really bad. I don't think I've ever heard those words come out of Robbie's mouth. So I'm a little worried. So we're walking the, the moat to get back here. As long as we can get to this point, I think we can get it winched out, but this thing is stuck. So he called us last week because he was stuck, but he was able to get himself free with the forks. I see why he called this time. And Hillbilly, we got to keep that front from sliding. So we need to get anchored in here. Yeah. I don't think we're bringing Fred in. 
But what we could do is if we can get the skid steer, we can chain to the road. We can put Fred out on the road, literally turn around and use back winch, land anchor it. Oh my heck, this is exciting. And we were joking yesterday, me and Colton, that our recoveries have been pretty easy lately and we need a hard one. Yeah. But we'll get it taken care of. And if we can't do it, we got friends. All right, so what we're talking about is they've got a skid steer here. We might use their bucket and fill in the trenches a little bit. I'm just worried about getting that track down inside a trench and being high centered. So then we're going to be in a whole nother situation that we don't want to be in. So it's always good to assess all your options. A lot of people, they'll go into it in a panic stage. Like, oh, I got to hurry in the easiest route. I got to hurry and pull it out that way. I got to pull it from here. But sometimes that can be worse. So we're going to sit and assess everything, see what our best, best option is. If it's not working, we'll change it up. I think this is going to be a fun recovery. So for now, I think we're going to leave Fred here. Leave all the kinetic ropes, all that stuff. We're going to just take chain, winch lines, the skid steer. We're going to go play build a road and figure out how to get a track skid steer through the mud to the stuck piece of equipment. So if you guys don't remember, this thing got stuck in the snow last year. We took our friend Heavy D, you can check that video out here, and we went and recovered it. It was a two-day event. This one, I don't think it's gonna be two days, hopefully not, but we do got our work cut out for us because this is a big piece of equipment. Luckily this time, it drives, it's got brakes, and we can try to help it. I think we got the right stuff for the job. Let's go see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just use the skid steer, the little bobcat with bucket, try to fix the road a little bit. We're gonna leave this one here. That way, if it gets stuck, we can get it back out. Careful what you wish for, because we were wishing for this. So the plan is to fix the road so there's no big ruts because if we get the skid steer in the ruts, those tracks, it'll pull the track right off. We keep trying to go, we'll be bottomed out. Yeah. If you guys remember, the snow cap fell in one of Heavy D's ruts and it ripped the track right off. These ones are a little bit easier to put on than whiskers though. Yeah, but we just don't want to put it on in the mud. No. Hey, right here, you're already sinking a foot. Let's just avoid having to pull this out and let's just hook the Hook the bucket to the cat. Bobcat started to sink, so we're gonna go hook to ours and put the bucket on where we have tracks and try to not get stuck. Hold up. I don't know if this will work. See this metal right here? It's hitting right there. So we're running into an issue. I don't know because it's all in level, but right here on this, because this is going on the Bobcat and this is a caterpillar that this bucket might be built for the bobcat. It's not gonna work. Wrong bucket. Let's just grab that winch and hope for the best. Let's just use wood. I'm thinking Hillbilly might just want to risk it. Hillbilly risk it or going to try to build a little with that. Risky. The ruts are wider than what the tracks are, so we can stay on top. I just gotta have someone watch me on each side. We're gonna see what it does. Colton's gonna grab our headset so we can communicate. So right now, if Hillbilly goes either way, he's falling in the trench. But I think we're past the bad spot. Oh. Knock on wood. All right, we're just about back through the bad stuff. We got ice right here. So we're gonna get Hillbilly kind of backed up in and anchored into the ice. And we're gonna just snatch block and cable, snatch block and cable. And get like a four to one pole or whatever you wanna call it. The internet will let me know what it's called. All right, so we're gonna start getting everything out, getting everything set up, and hopefully start pulling. All right, let's figure out the snatch block situation. We'll put one snatch block, so we'll come out, cable, snatch block, out, cable, snatch block, back. It's gonna be a lot of, a lot of this, and a lot of that. All right, so we're gonna get this all set up. We gotta drag a ton of cable. We'll probably end up using this entire spool. A ton of cable, and we have to drag a ton of weight. Yes, it's a lot of weight. How? How many pounds do you think this thing weighs? 28. 28,000 pounds. So one snatch block's gonna be right at what it is, 30,000. We'll double it. Is that right or is it one and a half? So you'll be 60. It doubles every Internet, block. tell us what it is. We'll, we'll show you the cabling and the snatch blocks and you can tell us how many pounds it's pulling. So we gotta make sure that the cables don't overlap. So we're gonna go snatch center. Snatch to this nope. side. Nope, we're gonna go center to a snatch block out here in the middle. Go back to that one on the outside. Come back and we're gonna anchor it here. So we're gonna shorten up our cable because we're running out. We don't have cable extension. Okay. Oh yeah, we have more cable. Yeah. Do we stop? We can here. Here, let's 
no, let's get this one hooked and then let's pull more cable. So let's just pull this back a little. So what we're doing is we took the hook off this chain and we're gonna go right in here to our chain hook in the center. And then we're gonna pull the rest of the cable out, pull. go through the pulleys, and then we'll deadhead back to here. Now there should be enough cable to where we don't run That's out, we can pull. meet yeah. to that chain. So we're gonna get this all tightened up and then hopefully we can get it out. Don't know how hard it's gonna be, but we'll see. So one cool thing about Colton that you guys don't may or may not know is he's MSHA certified. So what we're doing is we're checking our red zones, making sure that everybody's gonna be out of the triangles, and then we're gonna get this thing pulled out. Okay, oh, pull so it. What do you my safe right here? Absolutely not. And you thought my I was gonna say absolutely. Right yeah. All right, so we got all our lines in place. We're gonna get this thing pulled and see what it does. So we got the owner in it. He's gonna be using the power of the machine, and then Hillbilly's gonna be pulling with the skid steer. I'm gonna be watching. Can you hear me? Check, check. Yes, I can. All right, so Hillbilly's gonna start pulling. We're gonna see what the back end of this wants to do. All right, so it's starting to come out pretty good, but we've got the wheels. Well, the wheels won't turn, but he is able to help us a little bit. So Hillbilly's getting it pulled sideways. We're gonna try to get to a point where we can get it bumped out of that hole, but right now we're just pulling mud. So what happened here is we started to bind up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull and rewind, but I think we just about got it to a point where we can get this thing out of this hole. Come out. All right, so we've got this all wound back in correctly. Um, we'll probably have to do it one more time, but we want to keep our cable reeled in correctly so we don't break it. So we're to the point where I think we're just gonna remove the snatch blocks and just pull with 15,000 pounds. So what we'll do is we'll hurry and recoil our cable again. I think we need to reposition the kids there so that we're just pulling them backwards. And then we should be able to get it out. We've got it this far, just about unstuck. All right, so we're to the point now. Hey, Billy's gonna lift the boom. We're, we gotta disconnect that chain and then reposition. And we're gonna try to pull this back end around as he uses the power of the machine to kind of help. Joys of cleaning them up. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna get this all rewound again and start another pull. All right, I think we got it out, but now we gotta get back out to the front of the house. So we're gonna get the skid steer up first. Um, once you're up, Hillbilly, let's flip you around and we'll drive you out. That way, if you do get stuck, the winch will be facing out and we can do that other skid steer. So we're going to do a chain type thing. So if we get stuck, we got something else to get it unstuck. Fred was just here for backup. You know what? He looks good over there on the road. Okay. All right. Don't try to turn around. Pivot it. Let's just go backwards up the road. That's not working. <laughs> All right, Hillbilly, this is going to take some serious listening skills. More driver. Okay, straight back. Okay, now we're about to have to use King Fred. All right, hold it, Hillbilly, we need wood. So this is starting to work, but we've got to make sure that there's wood under the track. Okay, come back a little. Up here it's not so much. Yeah, up here, up here is not terrible. All right, so we hit a point where we're going to go grab the King Fred and hopefully pull this thing out. All right, we're just gonna lock it right in. We're not even gonna mess around. All right, so I knew there was a reason we brought Fred. Fred is gonna save the day like usual. All right, so we're just gonna use the front winch and put pressure, cause this, it's just about out. It's just not quite there. That just fades, yeah. So I think with a little bit of pressure, we're gonna be able to pull it. All right, so we got it out. Just a little bit of pressure did the trick. So now we're gonna get the telehandler out of here before we load 
or get the skid steer out of here. All right, so we just talked to Mike. We're just going to guide him out. He's going to just hopefully drive that thing out of here, and we'll be good to go. Look at that. We made we made a highway here. All right, so he's he's getting the telehandler out. We're going to get Fred moved, get the skid steer out of here, and I think we're just about good to go. All right, so we got here. We were a little bit skeptical. It was super stuck. We were able to get it done. So thanks for calling us, Mike. We appreciate it. And as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. Oh, God, you can carry me. I didn't know what you did. Okay, back right now.